A pioneer in children evangelism here in the Bahamas has died. Dr. Willa Mae Miller passed away peacefully in her home on Thursday, December 10th. She was 90 years old. Dr. Miller was an icon in the religious community and hosted the Children's Hour on the ZNS radio network for nearly 30 years. She's the mother of veteran journalist Darold Miller, who reflected on his mother's life and legacy during an interview with the morning team just a few days after her passing. <sighs> I don't know where to begin. Her loss is just mm, so great. That's a speechless Darold Miller reflecting on the void his mother's death has left not only on his close-knit family, but in the teaching profession and the religious community. He says his mother, Dr. Willem A. Miller, was extremely passionate about teaching child evangelism in the public and private school sectors for years. And while his mother may be gone, Darold insists her legacy will live on forever. Child Evangelism Fellowship, teaching children about Jesus, continues. And my dear sister, I call her Ro, Eunice Roberta Miller Papal, has, I guess, along with others, taken up that mantle of CEF, Child Evangelism Fellowship, teaching teachers how to teach children about Jesus, and of course, teaching the children themselves. Darrow says he owes his entire career to his mother and believes it's from her his talent originated. Dr. Willem May hosted the Children's Hour on ZNS Radio for nearly three decades and made an indelible mark on the lives of children here at home and around the world. Every Saturday like clockwork, children could tune in and learn about the greatest gift of all we have. And that, to me, that's amazing. I, I, I think I is it. Uh-uh, it's mommy. Of course, daddy too. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It's her. That's how we inherit. In fact, you had to know your times table backward on the mommy. At five years old, tell, tell, 144, tell, 11, 132, tell, 10, 120, tell, 9, 108, all the way backward down to twice one or two. And every word in the proper dictionary you had to be able to spell. Darrell says he has been inundated with calls from Haiti, Jamaica, the United States, and as far away as the Middle East, offering words of comfort to the family. He says his mother was his best friend, his wake-up call every morning, a call he says he will truly miss. My sister tells me that her last words before dying peacefully in her bed was, Ro, she called my sister Ro, Ro, you could go home now, cause I going home to be with your daddy. Y'all have to see me in heaven. And to keep his mother's memory alive, Darrell says he plans to open a children's study center in her honor. In the heart of the city, Minnie Street on Balfour Avenue, the Dr. Willamette Aunt May Miller Study Hall with free internet, free laptops, where the children can come and learn their lesson, do their homework, but more importantly, learn about Jesus. A virtual memorial service for the late Dr. Willa May Candace Aunt May Miller takes place at the Abundant Life Church later this month.